friends welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello i'm treasure and thank you so much for clicking on today's video please be a darling and hit the red subscribe button so that you can become part of my family here on youtube would absolutely love to have you here okay and please also click the notification bell next to it so that you can notify every time my videos go up for my returning subscribers you know what to do baby thank you so much for coming back for yet another video i hope you enjoy it and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also leave a comment down below you know your girl loves that and of course i appreciate your support so so much okay so today we're going to be talking about self-care tips for winter i'm going to be sharing with you guys seven tips that you can use to take care of yourself this winter time you know that winter is like the cold days the gloomy days and the dry winds and all of that so it can really take a toll on our skin our mental health you know mood and all of that so today we're going to be talking about things that you can do to improve this winter so that when we come out of this winter baby when it's springtime we're looking good okay we want to make sure that we're looking good throughout all the season this thing of not like taking care of ourselves this winter because we're covering up baby the bin we are taking care of ourselves this winter and that's on period okay so without wasting any time let's get to it so the first tip that i'm going to share with you guys for the winter time is to make sure that you take extra care of your skin baby i cannot stress this enough winter is cold like dry winds sucking all the oils and all the lotions of our skin you'll be crusty as soon as you leave your room if you don't take care of your skin thoroughly this winter okay so we're gonna be talking about like things that you can use for your skin to make sure that your skin is glowing this winter time and of course you maintain it for the spring when it comes okay you can use like um body butters i find that body butters are very good they are like thicker than lotions so when you apply body butters this winter you mix it with your oil baby your skin will be smooth will be moisturized for the winter and it will be moisturized for the whole day when i tell you i use the bramley body butter and body oil i'm absolutely loving that combo i mentioned that combo in all my videos because it's absolutely the best you can find like any body butter of your choice and mix it with like a body oil for the winter baby you'll be moisturized okay we need to moisturize our skin in even more this winter we cannot play with moisture because immediately when you get out the air the winds just suck all the oils out of your skin so if you're like applying a thinner lotion then you'll be crusty so we don't want that so we just want to make sure that we moisturize our skins our legs everywhere okay and also we must make sure that we moisturize our feet when you're sleeping at night you just take like a foot lotion you moisturize or even that body butter you moisturize your feet and then you wear your socks that way we avoid crusty heels we don't want any crusty heels you'll be scratching people you're sleeping with or just having crusty heels we don't want that gorgeous girls don't have crusty heels period so we want to avoid that make sure that you moisturize with like a food lotion and then you put your socks on and then you are cozy at night and then you sleep you can even take off your socks later in the night if you feel like you cannot sleep with socks but make sure that your feet are moisturized okay and also let's moisturize our lips we don't want any crusty lips i've talked about this before we don't want to see crusty lips when you take off your mask or whatever just make sure that your lips are moisturized thoroughly with like your lip therapy your wigs your zambak whatever you use to moisturize your lips your vaseline baby we can get dehydrated like crazy in the winter time so make sure that you moisturize everywhere okay tip number two baby is to make sure that you get enough sunshine i know i know it's the cold days you don't want to be outside your room you don't want to be outside your house but baby you need that vitamin d when i tell you vitamin d deficiency is real you can google it and check it's very real and it can mess up your days so make sure that you get at least 15 minutes of the sun so that you can get your vitamin d for the day and you'll be good to go you can go outside for a walk if like there's a sun just for a few minutes or you can even open your blinds or your curtains just to make sure that the sun comes in and you get your 15 minutes of like sunshine i'm not saying that like, you should go and sit in the sun for like 15 minutes oh, oh my god i'm getting my vitamin d no I, all i'm saying is that just make sure that for a few minutes you get exposed to a little bit of sunshine so that you can get your vitamin d okay and while on that we're going to tip number three which is to make sure you're wearing your sunscreen baby sunscreen is so important i cannot stress this enough like people would ask me why is your skin looking so young you have like a skin of a 16 year old baby it's because i wear my sunscreen period 
I wear my sunscreen every single day. I don't play with my sunscreen. Even underneath this makeup, maybe this sunscreen. I don't play with my sunscreen. Sunscreen will protect you from the sun rays that you need protection from. And even when like it's the winter time, it's cold, you still get sun rays. You still get exposed to the sun. Make sure that you wear your sunscreen. That way your skin is always protected okay you can use like any sunscreen of your choice i personally use the herbalife sunscreen but you can go to clicks and discam and just look for a sunscreen that you can use and then tip number four is journaling journaling is so important whether it's the winter or it's the summertime journaling can really really help you declutter your mind you know plan your things properly i've told you guys about my journaling before i use my journaling for like to write my affirmations what i'm grateful for my plans for the day my to-do list so you can use a journal for a lot of things i feel like for the winter time because most people don't like the gloomy days they don't feel productive in the gloomy days if you can have like a journal you write down your thoughts you write down what you're grateful for your affirmations for the day you can even write down like the highlights of your day what made your day great what made your week great that way it gives you motivation to go on and also if you plan your days in your journal like you write like your to-do list can keep you productive and like sleeping all day in your warm blankets because we can do that for the winter time baby trust me to sleep in the winter time but baby we need to get productive the affirmations for those that don't know is like the positive things you tell yourself i am beautiful i am worthy of great things i am an achiever i get everything i set my mind to you know i am successful i am rich such things the things that you can tell yourself to boost your confidence trust me these things really really work especially if you like do them in the morning when you wake up you get your journal you write down your affirmations you write down what you're grateful for and then you get on with your day baby when i tell you it sets your mood for the day okay and then the next tip that we're going to talk about is making sure that you get like a form of workout or stretch for the day let me tell you something working out can really really elevate your mood like i said the gloomy days the winter days you don't really like get excited for anything because it's cold it's gloomy it's dry but when you get yourself into like um some stretches or workouts like a mini workout a light workout if you don't like working out it can really really elevate your mood there's something about working out that i absolutely love that's why I love to do it in the morning because it sets my mood for the day I get active you know dancing to my favorite music while I'm working out releasing some endorphins and all of that baby listen working out can really really help you if you don't like working out you can just do yoga or just some morning stretches but get your body moving baby okay a little bit of workout a little bit of yoga a little bit of stretching can really really help you in the winter time so another tip is to be mindful of what you eat baby I know the winter time we are up for like fat cakes we are up for like rations like all those fried foods but if you can take your time and make yourself like some good nutritious food for this winter a bowl of like oats in the morning soup in the evening baby let me tell you there's something about eating healthy that's just like it shows up when you eat healthy your body shows that you're eating healthy your mind can tell that you're eating healthy you can get more productive i don't know but every time i eat healthy i can tell that now my body is thanking me every time i eat junk for a long time i can tell that okay i'm sluggish i'm not productive i don't have energy but when i eat like my oats my tea you know my apples all that good stuff my body thanks me so i feel like if you can get yourself into like the habit of eating like healthy food not completely like changing your diet all of a sudden just to make sure that you're productive but just to change a little bit you know your mornings you can you get get like a healthy breakfast you can get like healthy dinner you can order out once in a while but just eating healthy i promise you there are benefits to eating healthy i feel it on my body when i eat healthy that oh my god i've been craving this i even crave eating healthy at some point because it gets me productive it gets me energy that i need for the day and it's absolutely amazing so for the colder days you know when you, you don't want to get out of your room you don't want to be productive if you can just wake up like i said you journal you work out and then you eat a bowl of oats or whatever that you're having for breakfast conflicts or wheat bakes whatever and then you get your apple you, baby you can already tell that you're up for the day and that's what we need for this winter we don't need to be sluggish and productive we need to be productive and our body is gonna thank us in the summertime like you look and feel your best because you've been working out you've been eating healthy you've been
been drinking water and yeah baby it's very very important and that leads us to the next step which is to stay hydrated i know when it's cold we don't want to drink water we don't want to see like cold water near us but you can like warm up your water and just drink and just make sure that you get hydrated you stay hydrated in the winter time there are so many benefits to drinking water child there are so many benefits i've mentioned this before definitely make sure that you drink your water and you will definitely see the results when the summertime comes up baby when the spring it's time to like glow and show your skin you know get out and face the world you'll be looking so good you'll be feeling so good and that's what we need okay self-care it's very, very important for the mind body and soul okay so that is that you guys the self-care tips for winter i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope that you got some tips on how to take care of yourself this winter if there's anything that i didn't mention and you feel like it's very important for the winter time definitely mention them down below baby and we'll be checking them out in the comment section and if there's like one tip that you feel like oh my god yes i'm go absolutely gonna take this either one two or three just mention them in the comment section and let's have a chat in there okay i'm learning from you guys as much as you guys are learning from me and i absolutely love that for us okay I absolutely love this community of like learning from each other so keep the comments coming okay i appreciate your support thank you so much for watching up to this point and i'll see you guys in my next one bye